Hello and welcome to a brand new edition of our show from Logo to Impact. I'm Vikram Oza. Here's where we break down marketing strategies, get you insights to how brands are built and unfettered views of new advertising campaigns. Here's what we've lined up on the show this week. Cricket Frenzy is back with IPL Season 9 and with it, all the innovative marketing opportunities. So how are brands building up the hype to reach out to the masses and scoop into the popularity of the game? That's our top story. Vodafone's out with its Supernet 4G. It marks the return of the famous thug. Vodafone brand chief Siddharth Banerjee walks us through their latest campaign. The Bachchan's endorsing Kalyan Jewelers is not news, but the latest campaign for their newly launched diamond collection of Purva deserves a closer look. We'll get you our review. And as usual, we won't let you go without the humorous ad of the week. But now let's take guard by talking about the tournament that has garnered about a thousand crore rupees last season from advertising alone. IPL is back this summer and this time they're expecting it to rake in over 1,200 crore rupees through advertising. So while many of us take sides with our favorite teams, clamor for those tickets or stay glued before TV sets, brands as ever are aiming to make the most of our love for the game. How are they gearing up for IPL fever? We've taken a few companies to see what they're doing differently by way of their marketing strategies. That's our top story. The Indian Premier League. Clearly, this is the biggest property on Indian television today. A money spinner with brands lining up for a bigger share of the visibility pie. When the IPL is broadcast, 60% of airtime is reserved for sponsors and 40% is for spot buys. But with every passing season, IPL has evolved from a cricketing event to a brand in itself. Little wonder then that other brands like Volini keep coming back to it for more. See, IPL is clearly one of the foremost sporting events in the country. You know, over the years, IPL as a franchise has really developed very well. Uh, starting from 2007, it has clearly come to be, I would say, one of the biggest sporting events, not just in India, but in the world as well. And uh, it offers a platform which really gets mass wide reach as well as an engagement uh, with the consumers, which uh, I believe any brand can take advantage of. So we definitely believe it is the right platform for us and our brands uh, to really be engaging with the consumer. The move to make cricket more than just a sport is evident in the many changes in communication for the league over the seasons. From Manoranjan Ka Baap in 2008, to Ek Desh Ek Janoon in 2009, to India Ka Teohar in 2015, and now Ek India Happy Wala. IPL's current campaign, which incidentally has no trace of cricket in the TV commercial, is an attempt to engage viewers in cheerful conversations about the game. The campaign uh, tagline, as you know, is Ek India Happy Wala. What we are trying to say is that uh, IPL has now reached uh, uh, an iconic level and it's become a huge brand mm -hmm. and uh, it's important that that brand communicates with, uh, with uh, the people of India, with uh, the viewers on television uh, and we are using this opportunity to spread a message of uh, uh, happiness, peace and harmony in, in the country. Sure enough, match fixing controversies have rocked the Indian Premier League in the past but that hasn't deterred advertisers from betting on the property despite those early withdrawals. Along with the usual array of brands, this season's IPL has seen a rise in interest from handset manufacturers. And Sony, the broadcaster of the tournament, has already sold 90% of its inventory. So with the with, uh, huge success that you achieve, there will always be a few controversies here and there. But we have always focused ourselves on uh, uh, the, 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 the goods of uh, IPL. And that's what we are trying to do uh, this year as well. We have seen uh, more interest from uh, handset uh, uh, manufacturers uh, this time uh, compared to last season. Uh, and we have seen uh, the rates grow roughly 15 to 20 percent uh, from last year to, uh, to this year. Uh, there is a very, very strong uh, interest in uh, IPL. And as I speak, uh, we already have sold 90 percent of inventory on, on IPL. As the buzz around IPL starts to build all over again, sponsors like car maker Maruti Suzuki are revving it up. Not just for increased visibility, but to boost sales. As the official ground sponsor, the association with the cash-rich league is a first for the company. 
and they're using the opportunity to advertise the latest car from its stable, the Vitara Brezza, Maruti's first compact sports utility vehicle. For us, the key audiences, which are about 45% of the total viewer base of IPL, is in the age group of 15 to 34. And those are the audiences that we are looking to catch their eyes and connect with the brand. And when I say the brand, the brand that we're talking about to connect with IPL is the most recently launched brand, Vitara Brezza, which is the compact urban SUV. It's positioned on glamorous and sportiness. And what better sport than IPL to connect such a position. Owning a piece of this glamorous sporting event ensures the reach and scale the property provides. It helps advertisers position brands in the glamour and performance space, making this an ideal association to reach a large portion of target audiences. The firm belief in the IPL as an advertising property is expected to see an increase in ad spends to 1,200 crores. Our association with sport has been for many years now. In fact, we've been associated with cricket all through, but primarily we have been the on-air sponsors. It's only this year that we've become the on-ground sponsor for the first time. Uh, our spends on sports have gone up by nearly 20% over last year. And to share with you, this year, whatever we spent in 16, 17, sports will account for nearly 12% of the total spends. And now, given the popularity of IPL on the digital platform, advertisers are sensing a new opportunity. Star India's video streaming service on Hotstar has brought in four sponsors and six large advertisers for the IPL this year. Flipkart, Axe, Polony and Raymond are the main sponsors. And some of the large advertisers on the digital platform include the likes of Lloyd, Hindware, Hero Fincorp, Airtel and Amazon. Hotstar's own campaign targets the urban affluent, which is its core audience. Their campaign, Screen Chota Hai Par Dil Bada Hai, is for an audience for whom the main screen is the mobile phone. This seems to be the new platform for brands hoping to reach the engaged sports audience. But is there sustainable value in this strategy? IPL has become almost a contact sport now. You know, you see people running all over the place, batsmen colliding with the uh, fielders and you know, all sorts of things happening. And with the amount of strain, uh, strain and the strenuous activity these guys do, we certainly believe that they also need to recover from their injuries very, very quickly. And because the games come very thick and fast as well in this format, so we believe that with Wallony Spray, this is the right association for us to further carry on the strategy that we have built for the brand. So in a country that lives and breathes film and cricket, will the biggest cricket extravaganza, the Vivo Indian Premier League 2016, garner the desired response from advertisers? And will they in turn draw bigger benefits through their ad spends on the tournament? We'll be keeping score at the boundary line. Well, that gives us a sense on how much IPL has grown by way of the brand in itself and the platform that it creates for many other brands to piggyback on. Uh, to get us more uh, perspective on this, N. Chandra Mali, the CEO of Trust Research Advisory, is joining us in the studio again. Great to have you with us, Chandra. You. Now, we're seeing this uh, space grow over a period of time, whether... You look at uh, the world of cricket, the possibilities that exist, the tournaments that have uh, come up, not least of which, IPL. Tell us about the brand IPL itself. How much more credibility has it been able to generate away from all the controversies uh, to be able to get these brands more and more attracted towards it? So IPL as a brand truly has not generated much more credibility than it had. Mm -hmm. It had the highest in 2013, then it really fell from a 300 and 50-odd ranks to 700-odd ranks, stayed steady there now. But I don't think it's about IPL as a sporting brand that matters now. Mm -hmm. It's that platform that it's ended up creating that's right. truly giving an opportunity for uh, sports lovers to be able to come on to a particular platform and get entertained. Mm -hmm. It's quite different from the T20 World Cup, wherein you're looking for an end result after a series of matches. Sure. Here you're just looking at that two hours or whatever no amount of time they're spending and getting excited about that. It's like a near high for something that you might you know take as a pill so right. it's almost like that. so the platform does exist but now how are brands leveraging themselves on the, the kind of platform that is being offered to them through an IPL right now because we just heard Maruti Suzuki now Vitara Brezza is a product that's out in the market they're using it as an opportunity uh, to be able to further right. talk about the story around this product uh, do you see more of that happening where uh, companies and brands are going to try and sell products through IPL or is there a move towards brand building right now through IPL. 
So earlier it was always brand building. You know the principal sponsors earlier were DHL. The yes. last five years has been Pepsi. And coming out now we've got Vivo, uh, very, very new upstart uh, mobile brand from China, just two years into the making in India, already at 466 in the brand trust report itself. So very, very high, quick, quick movements forward. So I think there will be brands which will sell products like the Vitara, Brisa, and there will be brands which are trying to make a base in India. For example, Oppo, which did it in World, World Cup and therefore we were doing it over here. I think this is about utilizing that 190 million viewers in, in TV and another 100 million on the digital space. Mm -hmm. So 290 million, 300 million people, that's a, almost you know, th 30 crore people watching this entire thing, over 100 matches over two months. It's an extremely exciting proposition for any brand and you don't spend way too much. It's like uh, Vivo would have spent about 80 crores for two years. So it's going to happen side by side. Yes. The reach is where it's at right now right. with a tournament of uh, this nature and none of that shine has really gone away despite the kind of controversies uh, that we've had in the past where brands actually pulled away from it. Right. All of that has been restored, all of that has been forgotten and right now right. you see a lot more of that happen now because uh, we're seeing Hotstar come in. They're offering uh, live streaming uh, and it's in a uh, couple of uh, languages as well. It's not just restricted right. to an English. There is Hindi as well and there are uh, significant brands not least of which being Sun Pharma and they're pushing Volini uh, through it as well. So right. do you see more of that happening? So just to talk about the last part, which is Valini, it's a very, very relevant brand to sports because when you get hurt, you kind of use pain bombs. So pain bombs is a also a very significant segment in the brand trust report, right. meaning you'd see at least seven or eight brands come in into a thousand brand segment, which is rare for mm -hmm. just a, such a small sub-segment of pain, bar, pain bombs, so to speak. But I think that there will be more associations that will be made that are relevant to sports. I don't think, for example, the Vitara is basically a SUV. It's a sports utility vehicle. Right. And therefore, you see much more relevant kind of movement happening. Pepsi was a very youthful brand, so to speak. Today you have 41% of women actually viewing this. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that almost half the segment is women who are watching cricket, which wouldn't be imaginable just 10 years ago. So things have changed considerably. So I think this is going to become a, a carry momentum as it goes by. You'll find a wider audience as it comes by. Two languages is too limiting. I think they should, in the digital space, you should be having 25 languages. Why, Correct. why not? Right. And once you do that, you're reaching out to everybody. And I think this will reach out to everybody. Wherever the internet goes, you'll probably find a viewer. That's right. So there are things that are happening on the yes. periphery as well, and all of it is adding up. But for, uh, say, a Sony that uh, really has carried forth uh, the torch, as it were, since uh, that's where uh, you get to watch the matches. Yes. In being able to talk about the brand and what it uh, really stands for at this point in time, I see them taking it beyond cricket. Uh, they're talking about a happy wala India right now mm. as part of their brand campaign for IPL. Right. Uh, do you find that striking? So I think it's only natural. They want to build the Sony brand, the sporting brand, it used to be the cricket brand, as an a brand that means happiness. It's something similar to what a Coke might offer, you know. It's a drink, it's a dark colored drink which has sugar in it. But then they talk about happiness. They talk about something sub so subliminal that all of us can relate to. And they would have gone in the same cycle that anybody else would have. They said, what does cricket do? At the end of it, oh, you get happiness. So that's what we're doing. And they've created that brand for themselves and they want to say sustainably with the emotion of people. I think that's where they're trying to connect in, in when they say Happy Wala India. So clearly that's how brands are building their story. Chandra, it's great to have you with us in the studio with your perspective. And Thank we look you. forward to having you with us again in Thank the future. You. We take a quick break. After that, uh, we're connecting with Siddharth Banerjee of Vodafone. Uh, he talks to us about uh, the new uh, 4G rollout plans and their marketing strategy towards it. That's coming up in just a moment. Don't want to miss this. Just hit us.